This segment is sponsored by Circus City Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the circus is coming to town. The Peru Amateur Circus is showcasing their 63rd annual Circus City Festival and some of their performers stop by to showcase their acts. Take a look. The circus waits for no one except if they're making an appearance here on Hometown Living. John, you're joining us with all of the fun under the big top, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> I mean, for Circus Week, tell us a little bit about, you know, what people can expect when they head down to Peru to enjoy the circus. Well, the uh, festival starts uh, July 15th, goes through the 22nd. Uh, we have circus shows every day, 10 shows in uh, seven days. And then we wow. have a... Uh, yeah, we have a carnival and, a, and, and food booths and rides starting on the Monday of the 17th. Ten shows in one week time frame. We are surrounded by the circus this morning here on Hometown Living. So some of these, you know, they're, they're kids, they're performing. So who can we expect to be a part of all of these performances happening in that time frame? Um, all participants are uh, kids in Miami County, ages 7 to 21. We have like, we have around 22 acts in the show. The show runs about two and a half hours with those, with about 220 kids. Who are some of these performers and what are they doing? Uh, this is Peyton Campbell. Uh, this is her first year in the circus and Samantha May. This is their eighth year in the circus and they're doing a trick called Rollabola. Um, there's about 25, 30 kids in Rollabola and um, diff different types of tricks on this board that they do. I, I mean, it's a trick just to be on the board. <laughs> I mean, it's the process of them kind of helping each other out, being able to balance. With that many kids, you know, what kind of tricks are we going to expect other than just this skill of staying on the board. Like some, some of them juggle, like uh, Corey who used to be in, who's over the juggler, used to be in Rollable. He, he juggled, juggled well on the board. Some oh. of them, they'll stack these boards up to three high sometimes with uh, um, some of the uh, equipment behind them. Yeah. And um, Let's stack them up. Okay, I'm getting up, I'm getting up to the We have done the Rollable stack. I think I, I have joined the circus. Check it out. Look at these skills right here. You're gonna have to go all the way to Peru. <laughs> Okay, we've got a juggling group right here. Who are these gentlemen, and how long have they been practicing this skill? Oh man, this is a question for me. <laughs> I, you got uh, Kevin and Corey Nord, and you have Kyler Hansen. Um, both of these, all these, uh, Kevin and Corey have been in the show since they've been seven, and now they're in high school. So they've been in the show for quite some time. Let um, them go. Yeah. They were trying to teach me a few skills. So far, I got the handoff. I don't know what that skill was, but I did all I did, did was, you know, throw it, had them do all of the tricky work but I was trying to get my hands uh, going and man I could figure out one but once you add the second and then the third how you, many you have hours one, you have one more than me so yeah how many <laughs> hours are they typically spending working with each other because you can tell they're really focused on each other's movements yep. to keep them in the air so they, they practice they practice they probably practice twice a week with everyone else but these these kids practice all the time they're probably practicing every night <laughs> juggling and they've been practicing for years like i said they we do road shows uh, throughout the summer too and and this is a group that goes out has been going out for the last two or three years the road shows so these 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 three guys have been juggling for quite some time. So if you come to the show, you see them get some knives and fire too. But how do these kids get involved in these types of programs? Well, it's just a tradition in Peru. This is our 63rd year of doing the amateur circus. Um, so they get signed up uh, when they're usually around seven is when they start, and um, they just stick with it through into through high school. And so they, they we have a tryout that starts in March. The kids uh, try out then. They just go through two sets of cuts to get down to the final acts. All, all 220 kids make the show and then um, they get decide what act they're in and it starts up in July. And I could imagine you mentioned, you know, it's quite a legacy and tradition there in Peru and I can attest to that. Are you seeing a lot of generations time and time again be, being, being involved in the circus? Oh, yeah. So grandparents and then parents and then the grandkids coming out and learning a new skill? Yep, fourth, fourth generation performers in the show this year. Um, I um, mean, also a lot of the trainers that were former circus performers at the Peru Amateur Circus. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a family uh, family tradition there in Peru, and there's a lot of people who have whose uh, 
who even, you know, their kids, they moved back to Peru so their kids could be in the circus. They moved away <laughs> they and they came back. They do run away and join the circus because they probably just see such a camaraderie, such a, a, a fun skill, and be able to share it with all of the audiences there in Peru under the big top. So how can people get their hands on tickets? Because a lot of performances are happening. You probably don't have to go to all of them, but who knows? Some of the parents might come to all of those performances, but how can people come out and attend and support all of these performances? Um, tickets are available online, perucircus.com where you can go to Eventbrite and look for our uh, for our event, the Peru, Peru Amateur Circus, and you can purchase tickets online there and or find them on our Facebook also. Well, step right up or drive to Peru to check out all the performances happening there under the big top. You too might run away and join the circus just like I did in our WSBT parking lot. You can give them a call. Get your tickets for the 63rd Annual Circus City Fest, 765-472-3918, or check out perucircus.com or easy enough, find them on Facebook.